Hello everyone, Caesar here. It's been a while, but I'm trying to catch up with you guys. And so finally I got time to record a video. And let's do it. By the way, I'm smoking some Mississippi River. It's my first time smoking it and I'm enjoying a lot. And I'm smoking on my 306, Peterson 306. You can see it has a black, uh, a black bowl and it looks cool. It's a cedar, of course you guys can see that. The bowl isn't very large, I mean you can get a very decent smoke in it, but it isn't a large bowl compared to other other pipes. But I'm enjoying a lot. Mississippi River, first time. Really enjoying. Anyway, uh, lately I've been watching a lot of videos. Uh, I haven't been writing, I haven't been writing many comments but I'm watching a lot because I spent like a few months without watching anything and without recording anything so I decided it was time for me to catch up and also on January now it's April already um, on January I traveled I went to France and I don't know if, you, if, if I told you guys it, it's it's awesome I visited Paris only I, I, I went to France and visited only Paris man awesome awesome <laughs> uh, marvelous city uh, very beautiful anyway and there I bought some pipes which made the, the, the trip very, very awesome. <laughs> it was the first time I could buy a pipe first hand. First hand, I mean, really looking at the pipe uh, before buying it and talking to a, a salesman and him explaining me stuff and everything else. So I bought some. I haven't, I haven't broken them in. I'm saving them because right before I go, I had a crisis of PAD <laughs> and I bought a lot of pipes also even before I even before I traveled so I'm on the process of breaking the pipes in I don't want to have a lot of pipes um, that I'm not able to enjoy them on their full extent yet so I want to break the pipes in and then take another pipe a new pipe break it in Take a new pipe and break it in. So that's what I'm doing. In this pipe, I had uh, a few smokes before I before I really smoked in it, so I didn't consider it uh, broken in. And here I am breaking it in now. I mean, finishing breaking it in because I'm smoking already a full bowl and. I'm finishing the process so then I will I'm gonna get another pipe and start breaking it in also but anyway I have all these pipes now my collection is a decent collection finally at least I consider that I consider it a, a decent collection it has a lot of pipes I mean I know you many of you guys have I don't know uh, dozens of pipes but um, for me my collection now has a very decent number don't ask me how many but um, it's about 15 uh, 17 pipes and I can rotate them without a problem but 
ever since I started smoking pipes, I heard and I read about uh, how can I say dedicating the pipes to certain blends, not to mix up the taste and not to mix the the experience, because if you smoke a lot of aromatics, there are certain kinds of aromatics that, um, as we say, they leave the ghost inside the pipe. And if you, for example, if you smoke a Virginia in a pipe that you smoked a lot of aromatics, you end up uh, tasting that little bit of aromatic. It happens. All, it happens also with English mixtures. The Latakia on the English mixtures, they leave a residue of taste and if you smoke something else you might um, mix the taste so that's what the that's what is said basically and hearing that ever since I started I dedicated pipes and as I smoke majorly Virginia's and English mixtures. I have my Virginia's pipes and my English mixtures pipes. I have two not, two aromatics pipes, a, aromatic pipes, and I have one more that I'm gonna start breaking it in. So I have three aromatics pipes. Um, I don't smoke a whole lot of aromatics, that's why three is plenty. And but Virginia's and uh, English mixtures, that's a whole other thing. A whole other thing because that's what I like the most and uh, that's what I do actually I really don't know if the taste can be passed through I mean through one pipe uh, if you mix up all the, the the blends I don't know because I never I never had a pipe that I smoked all the blends in it as I said I always dedicated my pipes that's what I do and I know a lot of you guys do and watching a lot of videos lately I see that even though there is this common sense about dedicating pipes I mean many of you guys you don't care a whole lot about it um, as I said, I can't really give an opinion on that because I've never mixed up my pipes and my blends. But I would like you guys to tell me if it is really necessary or if it is just a thing that, uh, uh, how can I say, that can make uh, pipe smoking a little more I have the word in Portuguese on my head I mean a little more knowledgeable let, let me say this way um, another thing I'm asking you guys this because as I said I bought a, <laughs> some pipes lately not lately but uh, this year 2015 and uh, I started to think when I start smoking all the pipes finally and for example if I don't smoke this pipe in a great while I might I might get missed my I might get mixed up on uh, which blend I smoke in it of course now I know it's English but how about then how about uh, some time from now anyway I'm overseeing I'm, I'm already seeing this trouble ahead so what what do you guys do to make it easier if you guys dedicate your pipes and if you guys don't dedicate your pipes do you find it uh, necessary or do you find it um, better anyway okay that's it now welcome back you all <laughs> I hope I can record more of these videos um, in a shorter time because I enjoy a lot so it's nice to be back 
to the YouTube uh, pipe community and let's keep on talking. Good smokes. Bye bye.